With substitution, we are able to solve a system of two equations, which means we are finding the point where these two lines would cross on the graph. Substitution is an algebra trick that allows us to do that without making a graph. In order for substitution to work, we have to isolate one of the variables in one of the equations. And this time we're lucky. In equation 2, we have y equals x plus 1. The y is already isolated. We know y is equal to this. The logic of substitution is that if y is equal to this in one equation, the y in the other equation is also equal to this. So we can rewrite the first equation, x plus y equals 14, except instead of the y, we leave a space, and we put this, x plus 1, into that space. Now we simplify. We have an equation with only x's, and we can solve that. x plus x is 2x. Now let's move the 1 to the other side. 14 minus 1 is 13. If we divide both sides by 2, we have isolated our x, and we see x is equal to 13 halves, or x is equal to 6.5. How do we find the y? We take the x that we found, and we plug it into either of the first equations. I'm going to use equation 1 again, x plus y equals 14, and I'm going to substitute 6.5 into the x position. 6.5 plus y equals 14. Isolating the y means moving the 6.5 to the other side where it becomes negative. And 14 minus 6.5 is equal to 7.5. We're finished. We have found the point where these two lines cross, which is going to be 6.5, 7.5. This is substitution. In this example, we're given two equations, and neither of them already has one of the letters isolated. So we have to do some algebra to isolate one of the letters in one of the equations before we can do the substitution. I'm going to work with equation 2, and I'm going to isolate the y again. If I move the 3x to the other side of the equals, I get y equals 36 minus 3x. Then I substitute this, the expression y is equal to, into the y position in the other equation. I get 2x minus 2, open bracket, 36 minus 3x equals 8. My y has been replaced with the expression y is equal to. Now we have an equation that only has x's, and I can solve for x. Negative 2 times 36 is minus 72. Negative 2 times negative 3x is plus 6x. If I get all of the x's to the left of the equals, and all of the constant terms to the right, I have 2x plus 6x equals 8 plus 72. 8x is equal to 80. Divide both sides by 8. And I have isolated my x. And x is equal to 10. Now I just have to substitute x equals 10 into either of the original equations to find y. This time I'm going to use equation 2. 3 times 10 plus y equals 36. 30 plus y equals 36. y equals 36 minus 30. y equals 6. My answer is x equals 10, y equals 6. In this example, we have x plus y equals 25, and x minus 2y equals 10. Again, I'm going to choose to isolate the y in the second equation. I get negative 2y equals 10 minus x. And then, dividing everything in the equation by negative 2, I get y equals negative 5 
plus one half x. I substitute this expression that y is equal to in the second equation into the y position in the first equation and I get x plus negative 5 plus 1 half x equals 25. Now we have an equation with only one variable, the x, so we can solve for x. I have x plus 1 half x equals 25, and if I move the minus 5 to the other side, it becomes plus 5. This gives me 3 halves x equals 30. If I divide both sides by 3 halves, my x is isolated and is equal to 20. Now I substitute x equals 20 into either of the original equations to find my y. If I use equation 2, I get 20 in the x position minus 2y equals 10. Let's move the 10 to the left and the minus 2y to the right. We get 20 minus 10 equals positive 2y. 10 equals 2y. Divide both sides by 2 to isolate my y, and I get y equals 5. The answer to this substitution problem, and the point where these two lines cross, is going to be 20. Now I'm going to do the third example over again, but instead of isolating the y, I'm going to isolate the x. We don't have to always isolate the y when we're doing substitution. We can isolate either letter in either equation, and it will work and give the same answer. Let's prove it. If we isolate the x in equation 2, we get x equals 10 plus 2y. Then we substitute 10 plus 2y into the x position in the other equation. And we have 10 plus 2y plus y equals 25. Moving the 10 to the other side and combining the y's, I get 3y equals 25 minus 10. 3y equals 15. And if I isolate the y by dividing both sides by 3, I get y equals 5. Then if we plug y equals 5 into either of the original equations, and I will use equation 1 this time, we get x plus 5 equals 25. x is equal to 25 minus 5. x equals 20. The answer to the system of equations is 20 5, and it doesn't matter which letter I isolate, and it doesn't matter which equation I use to isolate that letter net. This is substitution.